small dark objects have been darting around indoors and outdoors at the engineering school at the University of Maryland in recent years. They are not bats. They are not birds. They're small monocopters invented by a graduate engineering team led by Evan Ulrich. He can control their flight with a radio transmitter. These $500 prototypes are capable of being launched from the ground. And these flying machines are as small as three inches across. Where did the aerospace engineering department at Maryland come up with the idea of a remote control monocopter? Maple trees, or more precisely, the seedlings that maple trees produce. Seedlings that sometimes fly far from the original tree. It turns out for its size and in its shape, it has the optimal aerodynamic uh, descent. That is, it has the highest drag force of anything of the same size and same weight and same scale. The Army, which helped fund the research, is very interested in these tiny flying machines, which could quietly check on an enemy and beam back video. Law enforcement might use them to fly through a building in a hostage situation. They're also likely to be manufactured as toys. Fly, and I've let a couple kids fly it, and uh, they didn't wreck it, uh, thankfully. Um, what, what's the answer to that question? Could you, do you see this as a toy also? Yeah. Evan Ulrich will earn his doctorate in aerospace engineering in May, and the inventor's best guess is his new flying gizmo might be available for purchase in stores at about the same time. In College Park, Maryland, John Henrahan, Fox News.